Hey there, it's Dwayne Huff with Band Leadership Seminars and Band Leadership Online. And I just got a student question on my YouTube channel that I want to answer. And basically, they were asking how to deal with leaders that only think about themselves and not the band. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, but before I jump into how to handle this challenge, I want to invite you that if you're getting value from these videos, please like it, share it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell so you're notified whenever I go live or whenever I drop one of these videos that's designed to help you. Students, when you're watching this, know that if you have a comment or if you have a question or if you need help, I am going to respond to it, each and every one of them. And many times I create videos just like this to serve you. So before I jump into this, please understand that I default to whatever your band director decides you should do. So please consult with them. But as a nine time student leader and a six time drum major, here's how I would approach that challenge. First and foremost, we want to stay out of tell mode, out of dictate mode, out of just suggesting or even telling people what they should do. That only creates resistance. They're not going to listen. It's going to make your life even more difficult as a student leader. But there's a very simple way to go about this. First and foremost, you set the example of thinking about taking action, deciding, asking questions uh, that help the students in the band to win together thinking about them, thinking about their outcome, thinking about the things that will help them to enjoy their band experience and to make the band work together uh, as a whole more effectively by focusing on what matters to them. There's a reason that each and every one of your bandmates show up every single day. Um, and there's things in that their life they're trying to accomplish or trying to get from the band experience. And when you understand specifically what that is unique to every individual, you can make it your job every day to show up and serve them, helping them get or giving them more of what they want, what they need, and they expect from their band experience. And if you build a relationship with them, you'll know some of the things that they want from life. And if you can help them tee them up or help them get some of those things in their life, the influence that you have goes up. And so that example of you caring about what matters to each and every band member, uh, the band experience that they're having, and you demonstrating that you're helping, that you're asking the right questions, that you're making the right decisions, and that you're doing everything in your power um, to, to put them first and to help them uh, win and, and play better and march better and live life better. That's the first step. You setting an example like, hey, I care about everyone else more than I care about my own selfish agenda or what's in it for me, right? And then here's the next thing I would do. Again, stay out of tell mode, but maybe in a conversation with the leadership team, you might say, hey guys, I've been thinking lately and I'm trying to do what I can to, to improve this whole uh, band situation for everyone involved. And so I've been thinking about doing this, or I've been making these decisions, or I've been asking myself this, these questions. And I just kind of know what you, you guys think. How do we How do we focus more on helping them and serving them then we do about what we're trying to do specifically, knowing that if we go out and serve the rest of the band, we'll ultimately get what we want because that's the reward of leadership. We serve, we help others win, and as a result, we get that warm fuzzy that we were a part of making that happen. So step one, demonstrate in your actions um, your commitment to making life better for everybody, to making band more fun, enjoyable, rewarding, winning together for everyone, and then simply pose the questions to the leadership team. Hey, I got to thinking about this, and here are some of the thoughts, and and I was thinking, you know, how do I how do I make sure that um, uh, the rest of the band is really winning, and how, how do I take the focus off of myself and put it on them? And I was just wondering, what are you guys doing? What are your thoughts on that? How should we be approaching that? So you didn't tell them what to think. You didn't push on them. You didn't alienate them. You didn't isolate them. You didn't call them out, right? Uh, but you put it on you and on the group. And it does have a tendency to facilitate conversation whenever you say, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm trying. Here's what I'm doing. Um, what do you guys think? What should we do? How should we approach this? It takes the assumption off the table that 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 they should be only thinking about themselves and kind of opens the mind and the dynamic to the fact that we need to be thinking about them more than ourselves, Right. <laughs> So I hope that serves. Again, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you're notified each time I drop one of these. And please share this with your band director if, if you're not sure that they know who I am. Uh, and if you're a band director and you're catching this on my YouTube channel, please share it with your students. 
Drop your comments below, ask your questions. I'm here to serve. And remember, you can have the best marching band season ever. And you can just knock it out of the park together as a tight, cohesive team. You just got to be willing to serve, to give, to help, to uplift your peers. And it will make you a much more effective leader.